I think uh, you know uh, uh, tech is uh, you know anybody can code. That's a reality, right? It really uh, practically it doesn't even need uh, 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 need you to be an engineer, right? Uh, you know uh, many countries even a twelfth grad can start coding, right? So so fundamentally, what is needed is that uh, you know uh, yeah, you have a mindset towards coding. That is what is more needed. And when you say mindset, what is that mindset? Mindset means that uh, uh, that uh, you know you're willing to try and code. You're willing to practice, like just like cricket. You're willing to practice on the nets, right? That is that is all that is needed. You know, you're either bowling or batting. Similarly, you're coding. Whatever program you find on the net, you start coding that program. Let it be a same replica. I think that uh, that is what that is needed. And if you can build that mindset to code. Tech is going to happen for you. Technology is going to happen for you. Tech career is going to happen for you, right? That is the uh, most important thing. Really, doesn't matter. You code on Python, code in Java, right? Code in full stack. Uh, you know, code machine learning. Really, don't go. Don't go towards the fanciness of it. Those are all techniques, right? Uh, they say that you know, if you if you can really bowl, just keep bowling to the spot. And uh, really delivering, you know, having different kinds of, uh, you know, uh, 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 modification to the bowling can happen, right? Uh, variations can happen if you know your fundamentals. So, so go to uh, coding, coding fundamentals, coding basics, and if you can do that, you know, you really see that your tech career is blossoming. Tech is going to blossom, right? Uh, you know, look at the vacancy data. There is uh, by 2030, 300 million jobs are going to be displaced, and 50 million more jobs are going to be added in tech. The reason is that digitization is going to happen, and with COVID, the digitization has really uh, progressed multifold. So, so in reality, you know, if you really want to make a tech career, this is the time. Another 10, 20 years is going to be solid. So, so, so really, uh, yeah, and 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 don't get fixated that you know I really want to do machine learning. Those are all absolutely cutting edge, right? Data engineering, DevOps, cloud, right? Don't get fixated on it. It is most important that you know you 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 are doing something in tech, right? You you are coding in tech, right? You're you're a coder, you're a software developer. That is so much important. And automatically, as I said, right, you know, this modifications or this variations or adding new things will automatically happen. You will slowly start becoming techie. So, so, so don't get driven by the outcome that, uh, you know, I want to become a machine learning programmer, right? Most importantly, start with, uh, with getting comfortable to code, build your mindset, build your skill set. And, and along the coding fundamentals and uh, the rest, you will see that it is slowly happening to you. Right. Uh, so, so, so of course, all this are going to be great enablers. Uh, let it be machine learning. Let it be data engineering, big data, right. Uh, cloud, they are all big enablers, but the funda uh, the fact is that your fundamentals are strong. All these are things that can be easily picked up. As I, as I just, uh, you know, answered some time back, uh, mindset is, uh, I think, the most important thing. You know, you need to be prepared. You need to be prepared to go through the process of uh, learning to code. Uh, there is no theory here. Uh, it is, it is purely practice. It is purely practicals. It is purely uh, getting out there, getting your hands dirty, right? So those are the things that uh, you need to be prepared in the first place. Uh, don't go at the outcome. Outcome is that you know I want to be a machine learning programmer. That's an outcome. Don't go towards that. First, build your mindset that you know I want to be a techie, right? And then, uh, and then you slowly realize that once you are you are getting comfortable to code, the additional skill sets will automatically start coming to you, right? And then you are you are you are essentially uh, you know uh, uh, you know a person that uh, that can uh, that can be doing any kind of coding language. Uh, comfortable with working with any kind of machine learning algorithm, comfortable working with uh, any cloud environment, uh, but, the, but the basics are not there, then it becomes a challenge. 
so 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 it's most important why i'm stressing this is that uh, i see a lot of uh, young engineers coming out there and wanting to be uh, in the cutting edge right but but the fundamentals are lacking then they 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 really feel that they are losing out and in that process they really don't become a techie and they really don't uh, get that tech career so 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 really uh, most important first and foremost right uh, you know try to get a yourself a tech job right and for that whatever coding is needed right build your mindset and skill set accordingly and then slowly start developing I, I I feel uh, that uh, uh, anybody can code. You know, if if a twelfth standard high school graduate can code, then why can't the engineers code, right? Uh, no matter what their background is. You know, what I have seen is that uh, you know, since uh, you you have you know, it's it's a it's a mindset problem, right? A person who has done computer science, uh, you know, uh, feels that uh, you know the person who has not done computer science feels that since he has not done computer science or IT as the, their engineering, they really cannot code. So it's it's just a mindset problem. So in reality, the industry doesn't differentiate that uh, you are a non uh, IT background engineer, right? Uh, so why should you differentiate? so so in reality uh, you know either you are a chemical engineer civil engineer mechanical engineer right any 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 branch you have taken uh, you can uh, you can be a techie you can be a hardcore techie in fact i believe that uh, non computer science engineers could be a better techie than a computer science engineers because they really have a problem in mind that they are trying to solve and they are uh, to build an application right uh, so my background is a mechanical engineer uh, you know bachelor's and masters and our hardcore techie so so really it doesn't really matter it's a mindset issue so just remove that mindset and just build that you know i i i believe that tech career is good and i need to go through the fundamentals of building my uh, coding skills that means i need to devote my practice time every day and you will realize that in 3 to 6 months time right uh, you are very comfortable to code and you are very comfortable to take a tech job i think uh, uh, yeah, it's other way problem right uh, just because you are struggling to code right don't, don't uh, negate that you know i can't do coding right i, I see a lot of computer science graduates uh, really fearing to code just because you know uh, 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 they are in the environment where people expect them to code so so again you know fearing to code uh, is not a solution right uh, yeah. unfortunately the 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 engineering degrees are more theoretical than practicals in nature so what you need to build on is uh, is is ability to write any kind of code plenty of codes are available in the internet just pick it up and uh, and write it even if you copy the same code run it execute it you will realize that there's a lot of learning that you have got so 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 yeah. and many times the computer science engineers get fixated about higher end cutting edge technology and if they are not able to get there they feel that uh, it's a let down really your fundamentals are built up then automatically the cutting edge tech is there for you to get so 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 uh, my personal take uh, is that uh, you know uh, rely on yourself uh, to build your fundamentals on technology right and you will realize that you are getting to that cutting edge tech because computer science grads have a easier way to get to higher end technology but the basics are not strong then they get stuck and that is where the problem starts it does offer because of the uh, industry fixation towards engineers so so really uh, really uh, it is the industry problem uh yeah, i really believe that uh, non engineers also can be a techie to be a good coder uh, but unfortunately they will have to work hard struggle hard uh, because industry is fixated with engineers being coders so so in reality uh, uh, you know a- anybody can code that's a true statement uh, so so it really doesn't matter that you are an engineer or a non engineer but uh, for engineers it is far easier because the industry is ready to accept them
if you are doing masters in uh, uh, you know computer science uh, it's important that uh, you know uh, you you take up uh, you know more in analytics more in machine learning uh, uh, more in robotics uh, right uh, uh, don't take masters just because you have not got a job in it doing bachelors i don't think uh, that is going to help you take masters because really you want to uh, you want to get to the higher end of r and d job right so so get your fundamentals in coding right when you have done bachelors even it is fine you take couple of years doing uh, you know uh, you know uh, working in an industry as a software developer then get to masters because then you are very clear what kind of a research r and d work that you want to do and correspondingly take up that high end job so 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 really don't jump to masters immediately after bachelors as well as don't jump to masters just because you have not got a tech job uh, when you did your bachelors